Hi, and welcome to today's info session about the University of East Anglia in Norwich in the UK. Um, thank you for listening in. My name is Brittany Hopkins and I work in the study abroad team at the University of East Anglia. So for the next few minutes, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about UBA and why UBA and Norwich may just be the perfect place for you to call your new home. As I'm sure you can appreciate, things are subject, subject to change at the moment due to COVID-19. UBA campus is open and we're welcoming new students. But if you do have any questions about how UBA is managing the pandemic, you're welcome to email us on our email address, visiting.uba at uba.ac.uk. This email address will also come up later in the presentation. So to begin, why the UK? Well, aside from the fact that we have the Queen, great tea, and of course, fantastic accents, the UK is also known for our high quality of education and very positive student satisfaction rates. And the joy of doing an exchange for a semester or a year is rather than just ticking off tourist sites, you'll really be immersing yourself in our culture, history and education system. If you join us at UBA, you'll be getting a truly quintessential and authentic English experience. There's a thriving community on our campus with 17,000 students living and learning together. Studying abroad at UBA, you'll join over 3,500 international students from over 100 countries. Visiting students are a very important part of our community and wherever you're from will nurture your talent and help you develop and succeed, making your time abroad the most memorable part of your university degree. So where exactly is UBA? We're situated 15 minutes from the centre of the city of Norwich, which is in the east coast of the UK. We're in a great location. It's less than two hours by train to London. So if you're looking to do some travelling whilst you're here, you'll be able to see the tourist hotspots of London for a fraction of the price. We also have our very own international airport, which flies up to Edinburgh in Scotland, but also to Amsterdam in Europe as well. The campus is situated in the prestigious Norwich Research Park, which is one of Europe's largest collaborative research sites with UBA at its heart. This means that our academics are constantly publishing research that is current to the world we live in today. And UBA is an internationally renowned research institution. We're ranked in the world top 200 in the most recent Times Higher Education rankings and we achieved the gold standard framework of teaching and student outcomes framework. UBA's ideology is based on the concept of thinking without borders. And this is evident from the flexibility you'll find in our modules to the broad range of groundbreaking research happening across our campus. We're proud of the diverse and thriving academic community that strengthens everything we do. We encourage our students to challenge current thinking and we help you to find your own voice, join in with debates, and come up with original ideas that set you apart. The teaching style of the UK can be quite different to other countries, with classes often being a combination of lectures, which are large classes with subject experts. There are also seminars, uh, which are small group sessions of around 12 to 15 students. There may also be some practical work elements, such as labs or field trips. And there is, of course, time for independent study with a focus on individual learning. You may find the amount of time dedicated to independent study quite surprising at first, but this is time for you to really delve into your subject area and explore areas of personal interest to you. You'll also find that many of our schools offer students the possibility to pick research modules. This is an opportunity for you to conduct your own research and explore areas of your studies that you find particularly interesting, all with the support of an academic and all of which is credit bearing. If you choose to study abroad with us at UBA, you'll be able to choose from a huge range of classes to build a program that is fitting to your studies. Our structure is flexible, so you don't need to study all of your options from one academic area. So, for example, you could choose to take a history class along with some business classes as well. As you can see, we offer classes right across the arts and humanities, sciences and social sciences. The only area we do not offer on exchange at UBA is our Faculty of Medicine and Health Sciences, 
though if you are a pre-med student, you will be able to find suitable classes within our Faculty of Sciences. So whether you're looking for a class to complement your degree discipline, or you're looking to take something completely outside of your major, UBA offers you the flexibility that you need to study abroad. And at UBA, we also have a broad range of academic support available to you to help you adjust to this different way of learning. You'll be assigned an academic advisor as you enroll, and this is someone that you can meet with to discuss your assignments. Or you could also book in with an advisor from our student support services, who can give you extra support to help you with your academic writing style and structure. We also have a free English language support program with classes and support with speaking and writing in English. Students usually have to take three classes with us as a full course load of 60 credits. So typically this would mean students choose three lots of 20 credit modules. Now I'm going to touch on some of our schools at UBA, starting with creative writing. At UBA, we pioneered the teaching of creative writing in the UK, celebrating 50 years of teaching it in 2020. We established the first master's program in 1970 and the first PhD in 1987. Students who choose to study creative writing with us at UBA will be taught by outstanding and committed faculty alongside internationally recognized writers, such as Margaret Atwood, uh, most famous for A Handmaid's Tale, um, and other authors such as Ali Smith and Ian Rankin. The university also hosts international literary festivals twice a year. We've welcomed a host of award-winning authors, journalists, illustrators, broadcasters, and more. Big names have included Nobel Prize winner Kazuo Ishiguro, as well as Ian McEwen and Anne Enright, who are all alumni of our creative writing course at UBA. Our students learn from these fabulous people firsthand about the art of creative writing. Additionally, UBA and Norwich are the UK's leading centre for the study and practice of crime fiction, despite having some of the lowest crime statistics in the country. Our School of Environmental Sciences also holds an impressive reputation, being awarded the Queen's Anniversary Prize for Higher and Further Education. Students are able to take classes from notable academics, including Professor Carol Robinson, who's done vital research into microplastics in the ocean. The large number of modules range from policymaking around climate change, meteorology and atmospheric and ocean science, to natural resource management, biodiversity conservation and geophysics. And we also have our School of Psychology. It's consistently ranked very highly by our students and the school offers various pathways and the school offers hard science modules as well as social science modules. So students can pick depending on their preference. UBA Psychology is home to a brain imaging center new with MRIs and state-of-the-art equipment. And we have a so-called baby lab, which is where students and their professors study the real life toddler's behavior and development. Some other schools worth mentioning include our School of International Development, which has been ranked ninth in the world in development studies in the latest QS World Rankings. For nearly 50 years, our School of International Development has been at the forefront of research into global issues such as climate change, economic development, environmental justice, and gender inequality. Our researchers work in partnership with international organizations such as the UN, World Bank, World Health Organization, as well as NGOs, charities, and governments. And our School of Economics proudly combines a reputation for internationally leading research with unparalleled standards in teaching and academic support. Ranked ninth in the UK for economics in the UK Guardian University Guide 2020, we're known worldwide for research excellence in the areas of economic theory, applied econometrics, finance, and in public areas such as environment, resources, conflict, and migration. We also have classes available in film and television, and one of the longest established and most prestigious schools of its kind in the UK. We're home to the extensive East Anglian Film Archive and have close links to the British Film Institute in London, as well as offering classes to students where you can work in our TV production studio. Students can also make the most of our state-of-the-art 30 million pound new science building, which was opened recently in 2019. 
The state-of-the-art building includes three floors of flexible teaching laboratories, allowing you to gain invaluable hands-on experience using a range of scientific equipment to develop your research techniques. All of our classes for this year are listed on our website. So if you search for study abroad, what can I study, which is that middle icon on your screen, you'll be able to find our module catalogue, which will detail all courses for this academic year that are available to exchange students. So hopefully this will give you an idea of what we may have on offer. So what about campus life at UEA? Our campus is a multicultural community with a varied social and cultural scene. Set in acres of parkland, it was designed so everything you could possibly need was within a few minutes away. You'll be able to see on our campus, we also have a lake as well as extensive sports facilities and plenty of accommodation offers, all within short walking distance of the classrooms. We have shops, we have cafes, we have restaurants, all situated around UVA's communal space known as the square. We have a bank, perfect for study abroad students looking to open a British bank account, as well as a medical centre and pharmacy on campus as well. We also have award-winning sports facilities, known as the Sports Park, with an Olympic-sized swimming pool, indoor fitness centre, sports courts, outside floodlit pitches, and a 400-metre running track as well. We have a library that's open 24 hours, seven days a week, where you can rent your books and access our IT support help desk. And we're lucky enough to have an on-campus art gallery known as the Sainsbury Centre. It's free for students to visit and features works by Francis Bacon and Picasso, as well as visiting exhibitions and spaces to learn. This is home to our School of World Art Studies and Art History. And if you're wondering why it might look slightly familiar, uh, it was used as the filming location for the Avengers franchise for Avengers HQ. We also have some gorgeous natural beauty on our campus where students can rent a barbecue by the edge of the lake or go for a run or cycle round the broad. Our students union plays an extremely active role on campus at UVA managing the shops, bars, and nightclub venues. The Students' Union also organizes many free activities all year round for students. The SU is also responsible for hosting over 50 musical artists a year, including the likes of Heim, Stormzy, and Ed Sheeran, who is a very local uh, member of the community in Norfolk and Suffolk. You'll make new friends at UBA, and with over 60 sports clubs and 250 societies for you to join, you can develop your passions and find some new ones. You'll also find a huge range of support on campus, including experienced advisors that can provide support on well-being, finance, study support, disability, and long-term health conditions. If you apply with us at UBA, you'll be able to choose from a range of accommodation options, which could include on-campus accommodation, a homestay with a local family, or you could opt for private accommodation in the city. Our on-campus accommodation includes award-winning architecture with beautiful views of the lake and ranges in prices and facilities so that you can choose depending on your preference. They are safe and comfortable places to live and an easy way for you to meet new friends. The rooms are fully furnished and all bills are included as well as internet being free. The rental contract is adjusted to your course length. So normally this is around 38 weeks for a full academic year studying at UBA. And of course, they're a fun and sociable place to live. If you prefer city living to campus life, you could choose to live in the centre of Norwich, which is only a 40 minute walk or a 20 minute bus ride away. Norwich is a city of stories, full of creativity, history and culture. And there's an independent streak running through every place and every person. Norwich is a city with rich character and an offbeat charm like no other English city. It's home to hundreds of creative small businesses, restaurants, shops, clubs, music venues, and bars. We have the iconic cobbled lanes, 
where you can have the best afternoon tea in the city, or you can explore the river by canoe and stop off by one of the riverside pubs. Or you can head to our buzzing high street packed with two shopping malls, among many other shops, restaurants and bars. Norwich is also a very walkable and navigable city, so it's perfect for study abroad students looking to get around by foot, bike or public transportation. We also have the oldest and largest open air market in the UK, where you can browse the stalls and find a fantastic range of goods and services at a very affordable price. UEA and Norwich also sit in a beautiful part of the world. Norwich is situated within a national park known as the Broads, where you can rent a boat for the day with your friends. And the stunning Norfolk coastline is not far from campus. The beautiful sandy beaches are only around a 40 minute drive away. Study abroad applicants are expected to be of good academic standing and have attained the home university's equivalent of 60% in the UK. Non-native English speakers and students from certain countries may be required to demonstrate an acceptable level of English language. Our deadline to apply for spring semester is the 31st of October, although your home university will need to have nominated you to us before this. For fall 2022, our, our application deadline is the 1st of June, again nominated through your home university. With regards to visas, there are two different options that study abroad students can choose from. The visitor visa allows students to study for up to six months, so is applicable for a single semester student and it's free, but you will not be able to get a job and work in the UK. The student visa allows students to study for up to one year, so this is the visa that full academic year students will need to get um, and you will be able to work, but it can be quite expensive. On this visa, students can work for up to 20 hours per week during term time and there's no restriction during holidays or outside of term time. So there you go, a quick overview of UBA and Norwich. What can you do now if you'd like to find out some more information? Uh, you can follow us on our Instagram page, especially for our visiting students via the QR code here or at visiting UBA. And you could also check out our blogs um, if you search for UBA on the road or scan the QR code on the right. Uh, you'll be able to read about past study abroad students' experiences at UEA. We recognise that things can be daunting when studying overseas, but we have a dedicated team here to support you. From answering your questions to organising social activities for you to connect with other students at UEA, the study abroad team are here for you every step of the way. If you have any questions that we didn't answer in this presentation, then please feel free to email us at visiting.uba at uba.ac.uk, uh, which is the email address that you can see at the bottom of the screen. Thank you very much for listening and I hope to see you soon. Thank you very much.